we are on the set of The Monster Under the Bed, and we're going to get the inside scoop from Kevin. Kevin, welcome to the show. Hi, Melanie. It's so good to have you here. Good to have you. Oh, I, li I like this ride. <laughs> this is great. So what's going on here? We're on a turntable or something. Well, this is how we get under the bed when we're under the bed. <laughs> um, you know, we, we start off the show in a little boy's bedroom. Uh -huh. He meets a monster that's living under his bed. He sends the monster off to school in his place. He stays home and discovers there's a second monster under the bed. It's the the little boy monster's father. Our little real life little boy gets dragged under the bed <laughs> and suddenly we are transported to under the bed. So we've got this big oh, kind of perfect. scary steel structure under here that um, that our our monster can climb on, climb on oh, and wow. hang from and that's awesome. Just generally be pretty monstrous. How'd you come up with this idea? You, you read the script, you stop, you let it percolate through a few dozen times. We've sure. got audience on all three sides over here. Yes. So we've got to t take into consideration the fact that that person way over there has to have as good a view of the set as this person. Sometimes that's a little tricky. <laughs> Angie, we love talking with you and getting the behind the scenes scoop on the costume design. So tell us about the process of working on The Monster Under the Bed. Well, The Monster Under the Bed is about a little boy who's dealing with the fact that his dad is stationed overseas in the military. So um, these monsters are really kind of, especially the dad, made up of things a kid would have under their bed. So we see a cookie monster and we see a matchbox car, little green oh, army sure. men in there. Um, we have a little one of those little bouncy balls. There's even an angry bird. <laughs> So uh, all these different things sort of tucked inside. If you see his head up there, um, one horn is made out of a Wreck-It Ralph and the other one is made out of Legos. So it's really kind of, you know, it's kind of a gray dust ball color. Sure. So it's those things that a kid would have under his bed. They're fun, they're playful, they're funny. They have great lines, so it's a very fun show. Ron, it is so great to talk with you again, and I know that you are such an experienced and sought-after director. Well, I know about that. Oh, I know you I. are. <laughs> How many shows have you directed here at the Playhouse? Uh, I, uh, to separate out the Playhouse and other things, I, I can't tell you for sure, but I've, direct, I've directed well over 100 shows in my career. So what so. makes The Monster Under the Bed unique and different from other things that well, you've uh, it, Well, to begin with, in this space, it's, it's not drawn from source material. It's a, it's a play onto itself. Now, I know there are a lot of messages in mm -hmm. this play. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the biggest message? Well, it, it's, it's about facing fears mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and how frequently things we fear are not as big and scary as we think they are. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the, the secondary message is about connections between parents and children. And because the, the, the father monster desperately misses his boy when he's gone, and uh, the boy whose father is away at war uh, desperately misses his father, and then there's a connection between the boy and the monster that emphasizes that father-son relationship. Sure. So it's very, very warm. It's funny, but it's very warm as well. Leanne, after talking to Kevin and Angie and Ron, I am so excited to see the show. How can people get tickets? They can visit our website at dmplayhouse.com or give our ticket office a call at 277-6261. Or you can check out our Facebook page and like DSM Living and get a chance to win a family four-pack to the Des Moines Playhouse's The Monster Under the Bed. Let's go in and check out the show.